desperation, a young man stands outside of a local Walgreens pharmacy. Um, he's homeless, and he's asking people as they come in and they come out of the store, patrons as they enter and they exit for spare change. He sees a large intimidating man in the parking lot, walk towards the store and upon entering. She asks, excuse me, sir, do you have any spare change? The man who replies, yet earnestly, no, but I have a solution to all your problems. That baby outside the store was me, and that man was somebody who I had the opportunity to be friend with and live with many years ago. He did have a solution to all my problems. It was not the solution I expected. The solution I looked for my whole entire life was outside of me. It was through a diploma, a career, a paycheck, the wife, the car, the house, whatever it may be. His solution was meditation. See, I always looked at the differences in people. I always either looked down on people and looked at their faults, which made me superior to them, or I saw envious traits in people that I was envious of, which made me inferior to them. I never looked at the similarities. When I looked at the differences, it always created separation and never unity. So I listened to what he said and I began practicing some meditation. And lo and behold, I started achieving some goals in my life. I started being comfortable in my own skin. And uh, it gave me the opportunity to be a little more comfortable in uncomfortable situations, stressful situations, anxiety-provoking situations, like giving a speech. So as I found this new found knowledge of meditation, I thought, was there really any negative stigma around it? Who also meditates? What are their results? What are the advantages and disadvantages of it? So I thought these questions needed to be answered. because so I felt the effects that meditation could add to life, but also add to a quality of life. So that's why today, with sources much more credible than myself, I'm going to show you first, what is meditation? Second, the advantages and disadvantages of meditation. And last, I'm going to show you who meditates and the results of doing so. Meditation is an ancient technique with many definitions and forms. Meditation is the practice of a technique that allows activity to settle down and often the results in the mind becoming more peaceful, calm, and serene, according to Jeffrey Chance. Mahayishi, the founder of Transcendental Meditation, describes meditation as the primary way for people making conscious contact with God. In essence, prayer might be talking to God, while meditation is listening, although it's not a religious act. Uh, I think the favorite quote, my, my favorite definition of meditation is by Dr. Wayne Dyer, and he says, the paramount reason for making meditation a part of our daily life is to join forces with energy and gain power from our source. When we practice meditation, we begin the process of attracting into our life what seemed to be missing. But yet, we actually were uh, connected to all along. There are many types of meditation available, each one working in their own way, if the meditator practices and he is willing. These are some of the main types according to uh, the time cover story, August 4th, 2003. First, we have concentrative med meditation, which is when you direct the mind on a specific focus such as breathing or a mantra. And then there's mindfulness meditation, which teaches an enhanced and accepting awareness to whatever arises in a situation. Movement meditation creates awareness of the sensations of movement. Examples of this are Tai Chi, maybe yoga. Um, visualization meditation generates a mental image to focus on, which could be a single square of color or the elaborate mandala used by the Tibetan monks. Transformative meditation teaches solace and problems by turning negative emotions into positive energy. Now, I'm going to tell you about some positive and negative advantages of meditation. Meditation is a serious and personal practice with advantages and disadvantages, which an individual has to weigh in order to find what's right for him. Although most results from meditation seem to be positive, negative effects have been found. Meditation starves the mind of the stimulus. Desensitizing the mind of stimuli may affect one's ability to react properly to life situations. They might not be able to react properly with a certain level of fear, anger, attraction, or necessary in social situations, according to Chapel. Dr. S. Snyder, who is the head, neuro, head of neuroscience at Johns Hopkins University, says, during meditation, the brain releases serotonin. This may help in mild depression, but too much serotonin can often lead to anxiety and panic attacks. A negative, a negative attitude or feeling toward the technique of meditation is the largest disadvantage and happens when meditation is looked upon as magic or a healer. In that case, the meditator becomes dependent on meditation instead of allowing meditation to enhance its independence. 
Um, because the situation cannot work effectively, the individual may feel that he has failed and therefore throw out the technique altogether. That's according to Pete Carrington, who wrote the book, Clinical Use of Meditation. The positive effects of meditation are numerous. Advantages of meditation are decreased tension levels, increased productivity, better stability, and better understanding and accepting of oneself, according to the same authors of Clinical Use of Meditation. Meditation isn't so mysterious after all. Neuroscientists have found that meditators shift their brain activity to different areas of the cortex. From the stress area of the cortex, which is the right frontal, to the calmer, more or less peaceful, more or less peaceful, more peaceful side of the left cortex. <laughs> this mental shift decreases negative effects of stress, mild depression, and anxiety. There is also less, act less activity in the amygdala, which is where the brain processes fear. That was a study done by the University of Massachusetts Medical School, which Dr. Zink uh, led. According to Harvard's Mind and Body Medical School, numerous benefits of meditation have been found. Chronic pain patients who practice the daily meditation routine receive, reduce their physician visits by 36%. 80% of hypertensive patients have lower blood pressure and decreased medita medications. 16% of those 80% discontinued all use of medications. Very, very interesting. A hundred percent of insomnia patients reported improved sleep. And 91% of those hundred either eliminated or decreased their use of sleep. Their use of sleep and medication. <laughs> Last, I would like to inform you on what meditation is, who meditates, and what the results are. Meditation is often an obstacle for most people but all demographics can practice it. Meditation is for all people, all ages, all cultures, and for all religious beliefs, or lack thereof. Uh, meditation is practiced in San Quentin prison by inmates in a class called Mindfulness Meditation, a positive way of cultivating ability to make choices, according to the Time Magazine article in August. Um, a Dutch daily newspaper reported that an elementary school in a small Dutch town practices meditation with students twice a day for 10 minutes. The results are fantastic. The children get quieter, they're more stable, they're more quiet in class, and they achieve better results in national tests than any other school in Dutch. In Dutch. <clears throat> Employers who implement a meditation routine with employees found that employees have a higher frustration tolerance, more joy at work, a more cheerful and optimistic attitude with higher energy levels. It is also clear that conflicts within the relationships are also resolved more diligently and quickly, and that was a study done by the University of Wisconsin. A growing number of corporations, a growing number of corporations use meditation, such as Deutsche Bank, Google, and Hughes Aircraft. Um, for conclusion, I guess I'd like to say that obviously we've seen that meditation does have many benefits and many disadvantages, but really when it's practiced in moderation and practiced on a daily level, it can benefit most everybody. Albert Einstein says there's two ways to live life, like no miracles happen or live as though as if everything is a miracle. The results of miracles from meditation are numerous, from quitting smoking, losing weight, successful jobs, attracting physical items in your life, and improving your relationships. Um, when you calm your mind, focus on what you want with desire, expectancy, goals of the universe, gates of the universe open to provide you with the fastest and easiest way to that path. You can clap now. <laughs>